And the bizarre thing is, there is no point to this story. Or is there? You'll have to wait to find out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I got bored. Today I'm here with my coldest water bottle. Baby got spawned. And it's actually really cute. They put my name on it. <laughs> but for real though, it's actually ridiculous how you can keep water in this water bottle in like a hot car for seven hours and it will be freaking cold as ice. Like, actually. Click my link in the description, use my code JULES, and you can get 10% off of your purchase. Anyway, stay hydrated, kids. Hi, I'm Jules. I make videos about music and songwriting and uh, Craigslist. Check out my recent video. It's actually hilarious and I spent so much time on it, so please give them more views. And today I want to talk about something that I've been wanting to talk about for such a long time. I grew up listening to this song and I've only recently had a revelation about the purpose and quality of this masterpiece. Today I want to talk about Zack and Sarah by Ben Folds. So you guys maybe have grown up with this song as well. I know that a lot of people have been requesting for me to talk about Regina Spector and Ingrid Michaelson and they're kind of like in the same vein as Ben Folds. So a video about this entire album is coming soon. But today I just want to spend some time specifically to talk about Zack and Sarah. So this is one of the several songs on this album, Rock in the Suburbs, that talks about the mundane lives of some person from third person perspective. And the way that Ben Volt writes about these people's lives is so interesting. Okay, let's start. Sarah spelled without an H was getting bored on a PV amp in 1984, while Zach without a C tried out some new guitars, playing Sarah with no H's favorite song. Oh, 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 Zach and Sarah. First of all, unrelated to the lyrics so far, this music is absolutely so good. The fact that he blends these super intricate arpeggios with like these indie cutesy claps and snaps and makes it actually work. I respect Ben Fold so much for being able to blend the composition of classical music with all the relevant pop sounds. So good. We open with two people with quirky names. Sarah spelled without an H, Zach spelled without a C. It's 1984. And the bizarre thing is, there is no point to this story. Or is there? You'll have to wait to find out. So songwriting is all about communication. It's all about deciding what you want to say and then saying that in a way that conveys it emotionally, musically, and lyrically to the listener. And with a third person perspective song, it's not about how the writer feels. It's about the character the song is about and communicating who that character is. Often Sarah would have spells when she lost time. She saw the future, she heard voices from inside. The kind of voices she would soon learn to deny because at home they got her smacked. So Sarah is a clairvoyant person. She has some kind of friends with the other side thing. She can see the future, she can understand things that are not present in the material world, but she has some kind of trouble home life where she's not allowed to express that side of herself. And I, it's so interesting to me that Ben Folds decided to write this character this way. It could have just been like a cutesy little love story, Zack and Sarah, eh. But of course, because it's Ben Folds, it couldn't just be a cute couple. It had to be a character with some really unique detail, which he tells of, but never explains the purpose of, or you never like hear the end of it. Zach called his dad about layaway plans. So maybe calling his dad to help him buy the guitar that they were looking at, I don't know. And Sarah told the friendly salesman that you'll all die in your cars and why's it gotta be dark and you're all working in a submarine. Ben Folds. <laughs> what is this man's magnificent brain? And then in, a, in parentheses, after she tells the friendly salesman that everyone's gonna die and they're working in a submarine and it's dark, she says, asshole. You get the picture that Sarah is the type of person that is like really mad about capitalism and has some sort of protest against the spirit of the age. She's the strong, vividly minded woman. And Zach is just like chilling, trying to buy a guitar. She saw the lights. She saw the pale English face. Some strange machines repeating beats and thumping bass. 
visions of pills that put you in a loving trance that make it possible for all white boys to dance. I don't know what the pale English face would be. It could be a DJ. But what's happening in this situation is that Zach is just playing her favorite song, being a cute little boyfriend, talking to his dad about money. And Sarah is literally seeing the future and knowing things that no one else in the room knows. She's having prophetic visions about DJs and the ecstasy drug and the future of technology. And then the last line of the song is, and when Zach finished Sarah's song, Sarah clapped. So this is a weird song. It's bizarre. And we'll never know what Ben Folds actually meant by the song, possibly. But here's my revelation about it. This whole album, Rock in the Suburbs, is filled with stories of mundane people in their suburban lives, basically, and just snapshots of their mundane experiences. Someone retiring, someone getting fired, someone waiting for a boy to call them, someone having a breakup, a couple at a guitar store, Ben Folds himself in the McDonald's line getting mad and sitting in his house in suburbia and making this record. I'll have to dive into this deeper when I make the video about the whole album, but there's this theme of this third eye enlightenment about the human experience within these mundane little snapshots. So, for example, in Fred Jones Part 2, this man is retiring or getting fired or something, and in that personal mundane moment, he has this existential realization about how he never meant anything to anyone, and how so often, as humans, we don't have any lasting effect on the things we spend our life on. So that's a revelation amidst this mundane moment. And it goes overlooked by everyone else. Because so many of the revelations we have just go overlooked. So this whole album is about like overlooked revelations within mundane life. So it makes sense that in Zack and Sarah, it's just these two kids that are at a guitar store in 1984. And Zack is doing all these mundane motions. He's playing her favorite song, just a cute little moment. He's trying out new guitars. He's trying to figure out a money problem with his dad. While Sarah is literally having prophetic revelations about the future and trying to explain them to people who disregard her. And at the end, after she's had this extremely meaningful vision, Zach finishes his song and she claps. And that's the end of the song. That is so cool. Zach and Sarah by Ben Folds demonstrates the universal truth of how existential understanding is overlooked within mundane life. Oh my goodness! That's so interesting! Okay, I'm gonna test that theory and follow it through the entire album in a video coming soon. I'm also gonna talk about Regina Spector and Ingrid Michaelson. We're reliving our childhoods, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this explanation made you excited about how great Ben Folds is. Um, if you have any other things to add that you think could change or better the explanation, comment down below. Or if you had a completely different idea, comment down below. I'm producing demos right now, so if you write songs and don't play instruments, email me internetjules at gmail.com. Check out The Coldest Water, link in the bio. Please become a patron, it's five dollars, which is less than a latte. I teach you how to write songs, how to use Logic and GarageBand. Follow me on Instagram, I just posted a really cool look and I want you to see it. Please check out my original music. It was molded and crafted by a long history of me listening to Ben Fold and Regina Spector and Ingrid Michaelson. So maybe you'll like it. Link in the bio. And have a great day, dudes.